Sometimes, in your virtual server environment, you need to make CDs, DVDs, or Blu-rays available by sharing them as a network resource. So we'll accomplish this by converting a disk to an ISO archive file, then assigning the ISO to a virtual optical drive in your virtual server. So let's create an ISO file. First, log into your virtual machine manager, which is your host machine, as an administrator on the domain. Then, to create an ISO, I'll use the software Free ISO Creator, which can be downloaded from www.freeisocreator.com. On our server, we've downloaded this uh, application and we're running it. And to configure this application, we need to specify the source folder. Then, select the volume name. In this field, you want to input the label of your ISO file. In the ISO file field, you want to specify the destination of where the file should be stored. In this case, the, our path is c colon backslash users backslash administrator backslash downloads backslash virtual DVD ISO. Now you're ready to create your ISO file. Click create. If that would have continued, it would have saved it under this path under downloads virtual DVD ISO. Then you want to go to the Hyper-V manager select the virtual machine that you're working with in this case VSN Scale 0915 right click on that and then you want to go up to settings when you click settings that opens up and then you can adjust the virtual DVD so choose the, the uh, DVD image that you want to replace uh, you have the option of uh, those three DVDs so it can be any one of those three in this case is BNA Forms November 15 we're going to click browse and choose a different image so you know in this case we're going to choose the image that we just created BNA forms November 2015 click open and when you click open click OK now what that does is that mounts that image so that it's ready to run so you can go back to your machine use remote desktop log into the server um, and then when you log into the server what you'll see is that your new image that you just created now shows up as if you insert that CD in the DVD drive.